He Still Moves Upon These Waters by Logan Alexander Ritter. Introduction. In the beginning, God moved upon the face of the waters, bringing forth life and creation. Today, he still moves upon the waters of our lives, guiding us through every storm and darkness. Preface. As I'm born again and renewed under his great love and grace. Inspired by Genesis 1 to 3, NIV slash KJV. And as I sail these seas of everyday life, I am made new. Poem. In the ebb and flow of life's turbulent tides, he still moves upon these waters, guiding us inside. Through every storm and every darkest night, he whispers truth and shines his light. In the depths of our hearts, where fears and doubts reside, he still moves upon these waters, gently gliding. With every step, a pathway cleared. Through the chaos, he leads us, never faltering or feared. Though the waves of pain and sorrow may crash and roar, he still moves upon these waters, ever present, evermore. With every breath, a new chance to begin. He still moves upon these waters, forgiveness and love within. And as we sail upon these waters deep, he charts our course, our souls to keep. Through every tempest, he stays by our side. He still moves upon these waters, our hearts to guide. Story. As a young sailor, I had lost my way, adrift in a world of uncertainty and dismay. But then I felt his presence like a gentle breeze, guiding me home to calm and peaceful seas. I sell these seas of everyday life and navigate the waves with faith as my knife. He still moves upon these waters, I know it's true. For he saved me from the depths and gave me a new crew. A crew of hope and faith, of love and grace. And now I sail these waters with a heart full of praise. May his presence calm the raging waters within. And may his love be the anchor that holds us kin. To the promise of redemption and the hope of a new dawn. He still moves upon these waters and we are born again. We are the hands of the king. Introduction. In the grand tapestry of faith, a truth is woven deep. We are the hands of the king, his vessels, his instruments to keep. Logan Alexander Ritter weaves a poem of devotion and design, revealing the divine within us, a sacred bond that entwines. Preface. Within the scriptures of our souls, a blueprint is inscribed. We are fashioned in his image, our hands an extension of his grip. As we surrender to his will, our fingers intertwine, becoming the hands of the king, a symphony of love divine. Poem. We are the hands that shape and mold, crafting lives, building dreams, stories untold. We are the hands that heal and comfort, extending grace, mercy, and love beyond measure or thought. We are the hands that hold and guide, shepherding souls, leading pilgrims to the other side. We are the hands that lift and bless, praising his name, manifesting his loving kindness. Our palms bear the imprint of his touch. As we reach out, his love becomes tangible and clutch. Our fingers trace the outlines of his plan, co-creating with him a world that's within his hand hands that write the pages of history, inscribing his message, a legacy for all humanity. We are the hands that nurture and sow, tending the garden of his kingdom as it grows and flourishes below. May our fingers dance with divine purpose, weaving tapestries of hope, redemption, and eternal scope. As we embrace our role, a sacred trust unfolds. We become the hands of the king, his work, his heart, his soul. I hope this resonates with you in a way that you find inspiring, uplifting, and helpful. Title, Renewal in the Season of Lent. Author, Logan Alexander Ritter. Introduction. As we journey through the seasons of life, we encounter moments that hold deep significance and meaning. Although the convergence of spring, Easter, and the tradition of burning Lent began a few weeks ago, I felt compelled to dedicate this special Sunday to reflecting on its importance.
today, let us pause to explore the richness of the season and how it calls us to embrace renewal and new life. Preface. In this sermon, I invite you to join me in exploring the depth and beauty of the season and how it speaks to our hearts and souls. May our reflection on the convergence of spring, Easter, the time of Lent, and the warmth of summer inspire us to receive the fullness of God's love and walk in the light of his resurrection power. Poem. In spring's renewal, summer's warmth, Easter's hope, and Sunday's calm birth. The time of Lent arrives, a symbol true. Of Christ's resurrection, new life breaks through. Sermon. Dear brothers and sisters, gather round. As we reflect on this special time profound, the season of growth, new life's hue, Easter's promise, and Sunday's blessings anew. In summer's warmth, we feel his grace. As we bask in sunshine's radiant embrace, the time of Lent, a tradition dear, reminds us of Christ's love drawing near. His sacrifice and triumph we proclaim. As we burn the lint, our faith's holy flame. May summer's joy and warmth bring us near to the heart of God who banishes all fear. May the hope of Easter guide us on our way. As we walk in faith each and every day, in summer's warmth, may we find our peace. And in his love, may our souls release general thanksgiving the book of common prayer 836 except O oh lord our thanks and praise for all that you have done for us we thank you for the splendor of the whole creation for the beauty of this world for the wonder of life and for the mystery of love we thank you for the blessing of family and friends and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side we thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation for his dying, through which he overcame death and for his rising to life, again, in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your spirit that we may know him and make him known and through him at all times and in all places may give thanks to you in all things.